So where do we go from here? We start with Tradman. They are not gonna okay anything major here. What does that mean? They just want you to talk to them. Hey, what's going on? Hey, hey! Talk to them. Shove them around a little. Don't hurt them too badly, because they don't want them hurt. Your character, Marky Tratman, is sort of the, the nice guy among the wise guys. What attracted you to the role of Marky? When I'm in movies like this, I'm usually the aggressor in it, so it was interesting to play the guy who's being chased. I'd seen Andrew Dominic's movies before, and I really, you know, he's a great director. Brad was what was a part of it, and, you know, he's a really, really good actor, so it, it was just, I was glad that, that this worked out. I'm just a guy who watches a poker game. I'm not even as involved or as, as deeply disturbing a, a, as some of these other characters are. I'm gonna call you at 7.30, and if I don't wake you up, I am gonna drop a dime on a couple of cops I know. I'm gonna take you back to where you're supposed to be. Oh, yeah? Yeah, no ass, no more booze, no nothing. Get yourself a shower and go to bed. I'll get you up and tell you where you gotta be. I don't take orders from you. Tell me about Jackie and playing a very procedural hitman. I like his amoral approach to it. You know, it's yeah. just business. It's business, yeah. and uh, you gotta fire people. And, and it's a shame when when you do, but everyone knows the system. And if you don't play within the rules, that's what's gonna happen. That it's more an issue of it's just not working out. Yeah. 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 And and in this, you know, it's permanent. So tell me, Mr. Producer, about the decision to include the Bush and Obama sound bites throughout. What are we to take away well, from that? Well, there's two things. There's one, the perception of things are being handled. That the perception is, is all important, that we focus more on the story than, than real substance is one issue. The other is that all these decisions are being made and being made at high levels and in, in, in big board rooms with a lot of very important people, but the people at the lower echelon, they're not affected either way. Whatever the outcome is gonna be, is still not gonna change their position. You take nothing but abuse in this film. It's a very physical role for you. Were you going into this knowing, obviously, that you were gonna take a lot of hits? Yeah, I mean, I didn't know the fight was gonna be as brutal and as drawn out a a as they made it. Having been the guy to throw punches, I've always noticed that it's really, it's not the guy who's throwing the punch, it's the guy who's taking the punch that really sells it. It was more demanding than I thought it was going to be, but I wanted to do all of it myself. I just thought to, to be more engaged and then to add the not wanting to get beaten and the fact, you know, of how much it hurt and the fear involved because, you know, I, my character knew these two guys that were beating yes. me and I knew what they were capable of. To play that fear along with taking the beating was, was uh, I wouldn't say it was a fun thing to do, but it was definitely challenging. They plead, they beg, they piss themselves, they call for their mothers. It's it embarrassing. I like to kill them softly, from a distance. I'm not close enough for feelings. Don't like feelings, don't want to think about them. This is your second film with director Andrew Dominic. Had you two been looking for another project to work on together, or did the uh, planets just align on this one? Both. The planets got aligned just to get people sure. together and get a film <laughs> to, the, to the screen. I had a great experience with him on Jesse, and, and I'm yeah. a big fan of his. We were hoping something else would come along. And right. In fact, I, I, I think we'll do another, something else. I thought I read, did he even approach you about this, like, via text? Or yeah, he first texted, said I got <laughs> something, and then came down and sat in 30 minutes, laid out the story what it meant to him and, and yeah. then said, uh, I'd like for you guys to come on, but I need you to say yes today. And yeah. I said, yes, <laughs> all right. You know, this is a business of relationships. Don't make me less. Comes around. I'm living in America. And in America, you're on your own. <laughs>